This is Haystack Help Radio on KLZ 560 The Source. Haystack Help Radio is powered by HaystackHelp.com. Finding help can be like finding a needle in a haystack, but with HaystackHelp.com, finding the needle just got a lot easier. Welcome to Haystack Help Radio. My name is Scott Watley. I have our good friend Ben Yablon in studio. Ben, I feel like saying welcome to the North Pole. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> you know, we were actually colder than at several cities in Alaska I saw this morning. And uh, it was freezing and still is. Uh, I saw our... people out on bicycles today. You're kidding. No. That's, uh... Here's your sign. <laughs> you need one of those? <laughs> yeah. Seriously. That's crazy. Wow. Talk about taking your life into your own hands. No doubt. Our number is 303-477-5600. Again, this is Haystack Help Radio. Our website is haystackhelp.com. We have a helpline that you can call anytime. We'd love for you to call during the show, but if you call 303-333-HELP, that's 303-333-4357. Kelly will answer that and be glad to help you in any way that we can. Sometimes you get into a dispute with a company, just getting a third party involved can help you out. And we love to do that. But listen to the show, and we'll try to keep you from having those problems with companies. But we have Ben Yablon in studio. Ben's a bankruptcy attorney here in Denver. Been doing it a long time. Been with us ever since we started Haystack five years ago. And just does a great job. And, and Ben, I tell you, economy just seems to keep hurting everybody. And I don't care what people were making a year or two ago, whatever. Very few people are in that deal today. So what are you seeing coming in your office today? You know, I'm seeing people with incomes down and debt loads up, and uh, I'm seeing people that have been carrying uh, credit card balances around uh, for at least a year, sometimes two or three years, uh, and, the, and they're just watching their balances get bigger and bigger. Um, so that's that's a, a very common attribute that almost all of my clients have. When they come in, they've probably been good candidates for either you know bankruptcy or debt settlement for many years mm -hmm. and have been making huge minimum payments on their accounts and really are enriching their creditors, uh, you know, for the benefit of keeping those big balances uh, in place and, and not watching them go anywhere uh, month after month. We will really kind of take any kind of legal question you have today, and uh, not that we will give you specific legal advice, but if you've been thinking about something you'd like to know about, Ben's pretty well versed in a lot of areas. So if you have any questions at all, give us a call, 303-477-5600. And, you know, man, we've known each other a long time. I mean, many years as you've been doing CBS television with us, doing radio with us, you've said that over and over. So many times people have struggled because every, I mean, nobody walks in there with their head held high. Hey, I want to file bankrupt, you know? Right. Everybody hates the thought of it. Right. But if they would have done it a year or two ago, their life would be so much better off. Right. They'd, they'd, they'd probably be back up to an A credit score. You know, typically within a year of a bankruptcy discharge order entering, you can be back up at a very high credit score. Uh, typically a, a score you've never had before uh, because a big piece of what your credit score is based on is your debt to income ratio. So by wiping out your unsecured debt, that ratio is skewed dramatically in your favor, uh, maybe for the first time. Uh, and uh, as long as you don't have new negative items showing up, your credit score goes back up very quickly. So, you know, there's there's that huge sigh of relief that people have when they've made the decision to move ahead, uh, either with a debt settlement plan using my office or potentially a bankruptcy filing if it makes the most sense. Uh, and they, they know there's light at the end of the tunnel. And you've said many times just a few months after getting a bankruptcy discharge, people will get inundated with car deals. And again, they're yeah. going to pay a higher rate. We're not saying that. But, I mean, they get inundated with car deals and credit yeah. cards. The day you file, uh, you're, you're typically going to start receiving offers for new credit cards and car loans. Uh, that's not what I uh, recommend pursuing. You're going to be charged a, a high interest rate. It's not a great way to start repairing your credit. There are other strategies that I help people move through. Uh, all of which is included in my base rate services. Uh, in, in my mind, bankruptcy is really uh, a two-part process. Part one involves wiping out your debt. Part two involves repairing your credit so that you avoid future financial hardships. Uh, and that's not to say that every person that comes through my office is automatically filing bankruptcy. 
uh, maybe only, honestly, half of the people that I meet with actually end up pursuing a bankruptcy. We work through other strategies and other options. Because sometimes it's just not a, a good fit. And that's why we say you can't go wrong. you got a free consultation to just bring Ben your burden, so to speak, let him look through it, and you may end up filing bankruptcy down the road, maybe not. But give him a call, write down his number, 303-562-3167, or you can call us now, but his number, 303-562-3167. And, you know, we've tried to do as much educating as we can on the show, Ben, but let's talk about the types of bankruptcy that are available to people. What are people's options? Sure. So so the two most common forms of bankruptcy, uh, two most common chapters would be Chapter 7, which is a straight liquidation, about a 90-day process, and Chapter 13, which involves a three- to five-year repayment plan. Uh, typically, we want to file a Chapter 7 because it's short in duration, 90 days start to finish. Uh, but there can be all sorts of other factors that would uh, tip the scale toward a Chapter 13, uh, even if you were eligible for Chapter 7. So uh, when the laws were rewritten in 2005, they made it much more difficult to file Chapter 7 if you made too much money. You were then uh, required to go through Chapter 13 and pay back some portion of your debt, not necessarily all of it. Mm -hmm. uh, but that's really what a consultation helps us determine, what chapter to file, how quickly to file it, uh, and what the potential uh, problems uh, are going to be when you submit the case to the court. Now, property I can keep, that's probably one of the biggest fears people have is I'm going to lose everything. Sure. So give us some of the highlights of what people can keep usually. You know, pretty much everything you can think of is exempt under the bankruptcy rules up to a certain dollar figure. So clothing, jewelry, housewares, equity in your car, equity in your house, it's all protected. Uh, what the bankruptcy court is looking for are, uh, you know, assets like gold bars buried in your yard. If you've got a bunch of gold bars in the yard, you probably shouldn't be filing bankruptcy. Uh, that makes sense to me. And, uh, you know, it, you'd really need to have a, a massive amount of debt to still need to file the bankruptcy and be sitting on a big pile of gold. So if you've got gold, uh, I can still help you. We'll look at a debt settlement plan rather than uh, filing a bankruptcy. But really, you owe it to yourself to find out what the options are. Give me a call. Consultation is free. 303-562-3167. Uh, you're not going to get uh, a, a rookie attorney on the phone. You're not going to get an answering service. You're going to deal directly with me. And that's that differentiates you right there from a lot of law firms. They, they actually get to talk to you and see you, so that's great. Our number, 303-477-5600. And one thing before we go this break, Ben, I want to tell people is, and there's been some... Uh, over the last few months and six months or so that have uh, actually gotten into some legal issues themselves, attorneys, a bankruptcy just flat needs to cost so much dollar. I mean, you know, yeah. don't be fooled by the low money down, no money down, the $500 bankruptcy deal, because those do really do not exist, do they? In my experience, no. If you want a competent attorney representing you, you're going to have to pay some money. Uh, so bottom line, if it sounds too good to be true, it probably is. That, that applies to so many things in life, uh, particularly your attorney. So a lot of people have made bad financial decisions. Uh, don't let the selection of your attorney be the last one in a string of bad decisions that mm -hmm. led to a bankruptcy. Uh, find somebody that does not run uh, a bankruptcy mill. Uh, I don't take every client that comes through my office. I look for cases that I believe in and, and clients I can help. So really, uh, maybe only half of the people I meet with actually end up as uh, clients that, that I move ahead with. And that's a very good fact in my mind. It, it allows me and the client uh, to really stay on the same page, uh, communicate directly with each other, and not have uh, barriers between us and, and you know rookie attorneys that have little experience in this uh, helping uh, a bigger firm just churn through clients and, and stack up uh, low fees and, and work on tiny margins. That's, that's just uh, a difficult way to run a good practice. It is. Our number, 303-477-5600. You're listening to Haystack Help Radio. Our guest is attorney Ben Yablon. Again, if you have any legal question, give us a call. We'll do our best to help you. We're going to take a short break and be back with more with Ben Yablon right after this. 
The number one concern for baby boomers today is financial security. Hi, I'm Dot Mecklenburg. I'm a financial advisor with 43 years of experience and have become the trusted resource for people planning retirement transitions. I want to see that you have enough money to enjoy the lifestyle you love for the rest of your life. For a free consultation, call me today at 303-647-1948. That's 303-647-1948. Or visit us at dotmecklenburg.com. That's dot D-O-T-M-E-C-H-T-E-N-B-E-R-G dot com. Dot Mecklenburg Financial Services is an official company of Haystack Help and an A-plus member of the Better Business Bureau. Securities and advisory services offered through Genios Wealth Management, Inc., member F-I-N-R-A, S-I-P-C. What could you do with an extra $500, $1,000, or even $1,500 per month? How would that change things for you? Would you buy a new car, pay off bills, or just feel a bit more secure about your retirement? What if I told you there's a way to make your dreams a reality? I'm talking about trading and investing in the market. Now, before you say, oh, that's not for me, just hear me out. I want to invite you to a half-day trading course so you can check this out. I promise you, you'll go away smarter than when you came in. We here at Online Trading Academy sponsor this and we'll even send you home with a free home study video guide. Your money's doing nothing for you in a CD or mutual fund. Learn how to profit when the market's up or down. Call us now while seats are still available at 303-325-2776. Use offer code RADIO50. 303-325-2776. That's 303-325-2776. Have you been involved in an auto accident, slip and fall, or any other personal injury? I'm Kevin Flesh with Flesh Law, and I've been protecting victims' rights for over 17 years. If you want aggressive representation that will get you the money you deserve, then call me at 303-884-1037. Or visit my website at fleshlaw.com. That's Flesh, F-L-E-S-C-H. I will give you the personal service you deserve, starting with a free consultation. Call me, 303-884-1037. Or visit me at fleshlaw.com Shouldn't a home comfort system make you completely comfortable? At Carrier, our expert dealers are the trusted source for everything you need for home heating and cooling. When you decide to repair or upgrade your home comfort system, your local Carrier dealer can advise you on your air conditioning, heating, and indoor air quality needs. From maintenance to repair to installation, going with a carrier expert is a decision you'll always take comfort in. Littleton Heating, Air Conditioning, and Duct Cleaning, 303-798-3880, Denver Metro, HVAC.com. Have you heard about Lynn Lyle Chevrolet's 2013 closeout triple play? Right now, you get a guaranteed lowest price, guaranteed highest trade-in value, and the lowest interest rates from over 75 lending institutions. Lynn Lyle Chevrolet, I-225 in East Colfax, or on the web at lynnlylechevy.com. Grassroots Radio Colorado with Ken Clark and Jason Worley. Weekday afternoons at 5 on KLZ, The Source. Welcome back to Haystack Help Radio. My name is Scott Watley. Our number is 303-477-5600. If you have any questions for our good friend Ben Yablon, he's an attorney here in Denver. Handles bankruptcy and several other areas of law, but if you have any kind of legal question, we will do our best to give you some guidance today. So give us a call, 303-477-5600. So Ben, as you go through another year, almost finishing up here, what would you say is the one piece of advice that you give people or you would give people listening today? That's such a great question. Uh, the, The one piece of advice that I want people to hear today is this. If you're contemplating making a major financial decision based only on what you've heard on a radio show or what your brother-in-law told you or what you read on the internet, stop. You owe it to yourself. You owe it to your family to have a competent financial planner, attorney, uh, etc. sit down with you and scrutinize your finances. I offer a free consultation. Not everybody does, but uh, my consult is free and I'm required by law to tell you the truth. Uh, whether you hire me or not doesn't change what my ethical responsibilities are uh, to somebody sitting in my office. So don't do anything until you've actually had an attorney uh, look through your finances with you, talk through the life changes that may be coming at you, etc. And that includes getting rid of a car payment, uh, stopping making payments on your unsecured debts, uh, stopping a mortgage payment, etc. Don't, don't make any major decisions uh, until you've uh, 
become informed and, and sat down with somebody that's really going to look through this with you. Not that you would have any of these formulas right on the tip of your tongue, probably, but you can take something as simple as 25 or 30 grand in credit card debt. And if you do just the minimum payment, I mean, uh, you've told me before, I mean, it, you're years and yeah. years to pay that off if that's all you do. If that's all you do, and, and that assumes that you're able to make those payments, what if you miss one? What if the interest rate goes up? Uh, there are all sorts of uh, problems with making just the minimum payments. The first being that the balances aren't going anywhere. So you're paying money, you're, you're spending money every single month uh, and not getting any benefit from it. The balances aren't going down. You're not, you know, God forbid you'd actually start saving some money somewhere. Uh, <laughs> you're just keeping those balances in place. Now, if you start doing things like getting rid of car payments uh, and cutting down your grocery bills uh, and belt tightening, as it is known, you may create a major problem for yourself uh, if you then need to file bankruptcy. And that's because we have a very strict budget test that looks at the amount of disposable income you have. So, again, you can't just listen to uh, one person's opinion on a radio show uh, and, and then take that uh, to your specific case. You need somebody to look at all of the facts of your case to mm -hmm. help you determine if it's time to stop making a payment on a car uh, to be able to double up on payments to creditors and, and pay it all down. Uh, sometimes those plans can work, but they may keep you in, in financial limbo with a tight belt uh, for five or, or seven years right. when a bankruptcy could wipe it all out in 90 days and let you move ahead with your life and start saving money. So think about what all of that money could have done uh, over a five to, year, five to seven year period if it were just going into uh, a savings account. You could have tens of thousands of dollars saved up uh, and, and be well uh, on and ahead with the rest of your life. Uh, so again, don't make any major decisions based on what you're hearing from me right now. This is general advice. If you want me to look at your case, give me a call, come in for a free consultation, and we'll go through it together. And everybody's case is different. I mean, that's why you, you've got to be careful on advice. You can hear someone make a general statement, but that doesn't fit everybody. That's right. Everybody's different. Everybody's case is different, and that's why you need uh, one competent attorney looking at it. You don't want a rookie greenhorn attorney who's handled five or ten bankruptcies in their career uh, that, that works at a bankruptcy mill that says, yeah, sign here, let's go for it. You need somebody that does this all day, every day, that takes uh, a reasonable number of cases that so that they can really pay attention to each and every client. That's what your lawyer is supposed to do. Now, let's say someone absolutely qualifies for a Chapter 7. Is there ever a reason that you would maybe guide them more to do a Chapter 13 if they qualify for a 7? Yeah, absolutely. So in some cases, a person will have purchased a home a number of years ago, uh, and they'll have uh, placed a second mortgage on top of it when the, the market was hot, uh, and then things fall apart. The market declines, and all of a sudden, that second mortgage is not attached to any equity. If that's the case, a Chapter 13 bankruptcy allows me to get rid of the second mortgage completely. So you get to keep your house, pay only on the first mortgage, and remove the second mortgage uh, just like a, a credit card debt. So even if you're eligible for a Chapter 7, if those facts are present, then we want to pursue a 13. Uh, and, and a problem with that whole scenario is that a lot of attorneys don't even handle those cases. They say they only do Chapter 7s. That's completely short-sighted. Uh, you need an attorney that does uh, both chapters because you, you're not going to know if it's applicable to you or not, uh, unless the attorney handling your case handles both chapters. You know, bankruptcy protection can provide a legitimate legal means to do a couple of things for you. And that's one, stop harassing phone calls, wage garnishments, even lawsuits, stop foreclosure proceedings, auto repossessions, IRS collections. It can wipe out significant portions of debt forever. Good that's way right. to say it. I mean, really. That's, so, a, that's a succinct way of saying yeah. it. Couldn't have said it better. Give us a call, 303-477-5600. And again, this is an area of law that, you know, everybody hangs their head low because you're already beat to death. You've been under this debt load forever. You can make 2014 a brand new year by just giving Ben a call. And once again, we stress, you do not have to hire Ben. It does not mean you're going to file bankruptcy the day you walk in there. Matter of fact, I can promise you, you're not going to do that. 
okay? Ben needs the time to look through your case, meet with you, and then get back with you. So give him a call. Do not make 2014 like your 2013 and 12 may have been for you. There is help, but you've got to call 303-562-3167. Now, Ben, what about retirement accounts? And again, we've seen people go through every avenue in the world trying to keep afloat. Then they end up coming to you, and then they empty their retirement deal trying to. So retirement accounts are protected. Retirement accounts are protected, and I, I have people come in all the time that have wiped them out. Uh, and use the money to stay current on debts, maybe try to settle a debt here or there, God forbid, pay back a family member or something they owed. All sorts of things happen with those retirement accounts. Uh, and, and this goes back to my one key piece of advice today. So uh, while I won't try to give out too much specific advice, I will give out this one general piece of advice for everybody. If you're contemplating a major financial decision, like liquidating your retirement account, stop. Wait until you've spoken to an attorney uh, to make sure that you've exhausted all of the options uh, and, and really have a plan in place that's going to deal with all of the debt. Debt settlement can be very effective. I do handle those types of cases when bankruptcy is not a good option for one reason or another, uh, but you need somebody that specializes in it. You do not want a debt consolidation company mm -hmm. uh, that takes monthly payments and, and tries to restructure your debt. Those have a 75% failure rate. They almost always fail. And then people end up in bankruptcy anyway and have spent tens of thousands of dollars they didn't need to. So, again, uh, talk to an attorney. Attorneys are required uh, by law uh, to you know, examine your case, your facts, and give you candid advice whether you hire them or not. You know, we've been doing this a long time with our referral list and all, and I honestly, I'm not saying there's not one, but I have never heard of a debt counseling type of service that wasn't like to a legitimate legal firm like yourself that worked. Everybody, I, everybody got ripped off. I mean, every person that I know, <laughs> yeah. they called us. Yeah, there are a couple not-for-profit organizations out there that are vetted and, and are legitimate, but for the most part, the for-profit debt settlement organizations and debt consolidation companies uh, are scams. They, they run big advertising campaigns. They bring people in. They charge upfront fees. Uh, and then disappear. When the going gets tough and a lawsuit gets filed, there's no help from them. At that point, it's probably an emergency to file bankruptcy, which really can be a nightmare. So for anyone out there who's listening that, that maybe isn't drowning uh, in their own debt, but knows someone that is or is lending money to someone uh, that's having <laughs> yeah. a problem, you're, you're the person I want to talk to as well. You know, you, you know this, this radio show has uh, sophisticated listeners and, and people with family members and friends uh, that are uh, struggling. Mm -hmm. So, you know, write my number down, pass it along. Uh, I take most of my clients uh, from referrals. So give me a call. You'll speak only to me, 303-562-3167. Again, our guest has been Yablon, an attorney here, yablonlaw.com. That's Y-A-B as in boy, L-O-N, law.com. You're listening to Haystack Help Radio. We're going to take a short break and be back with more with Ben right after this. Are you paying for broken windows after every round of golf? Are you always yelling four to the fairway next to yours? Are you searching in the woods hole after hole? Do you continue to lose every ball in your bag? Do you turn a four-hour round into five and a half hours? If you're that guy or you invited that guy to play with you, you need No Slice. Just put No Slice on your golf club and it will eliminate your slice, guaranteed, or your money back. Enjoy golf again. For more information or to purchase No Slice, go to NoSliceGolf.com. That's NoSliceGolf.com. People make mistakes. We can help. At Jansen Legal, we strongly believe that a good criminal defense engages you as an active team member in your own defense. We understand you are the most vested person in your pending criminal matter, and you will never be treated as a criminal despite what you are being charged with. Don't risk your future and your freedom by facing a criminal charge alone. Call me, Molly Jansen, for a free consultation at 303-832-5400. Do you have headaches, a stiff neck or back, everyday aches or pains that you would like to get rid of once and for all? Then call Maximize Health Chiropractic at 303-GO-CHIRO. 
They're a full-service chiropractic and wellness center staffed with only the best chiropractors, massage therapists, and physiotherapists. They're the go-to experts when it comes to treatment for car accidents and other injuries, as well as everyday aches and pains. They're the recipient of the Best of Chiropractic Clinics Award for the last five years. Don't let your problems get any worse. Get the care you need at Maximize Health Chiropractic. Call them today for a free consultation, 303-GO-CHIRO. That's 303 462 4476. Hi, this is Julie Mayetta, founder of The Haven Team. As a mom and a homeowner, I know how much work it takes to own your own home. If you are struggling with your mortgage, whether you're barely making payments or are facing foreclosure, The Haven Team can help. My team and I have helped thousands of homeowners stay in their home through a loan modification, and I'm pleased to tell you we have never charged any of our clients a fee. If you need help, call for a free personal consultation at 720-295-HOPE. That's 720 720- 2954673 at the Haven team our homeowner is our number one priority hi i'm bankruptcy attorney benjamin yablon author of the bankruptcy guide if you're overwhelmed by debt you need to call me today my direct line is 303-562-3167 come in today for a free consultation and your copy of the bankruptcy guide is free as well once again 303-562-3167 or visit my website at yablonlaw.com that's y-a-b as in boy l-o-n as in nick and the word law.com i'm attorney benjamin yablon America's Morning News, 4 to 7 tomorrow morning on KLZ 560, The Source. All week long, you look forward to Friday. On the Experience Bros Radio Show, we do too. On Fridays, we open the phone lines to hear from you. This is your time to share your great customer service stories live on the air with the Experience Pros audience. Set your alarm clock to remind you to say something nice about somebody in business. 855-FANBRAG. That's 855-326-2724. FANBRAG and Friday happens every Friday from 10 to noon right here on AM 560, The Source. Kindness is so simple. Welcome back to Haystack Help Radio. Our number is 303-477-5600. My name is Scott Watley. We have attorney Ben Yablon in studio talking about bankruptcy, debt, credit counseling, all of that. But if you have any other type of legal question, give us a call. See if we can play stump the attorney. <laughs> we'll give you a prize. 303-477-5600. Now, Ben, here's a question we got in. It says, my divorce requires me to pay child support and also a property division order. Can bankruptcy get rid of this debt? It cannot. So uh, prior to 2005, there were some things that you could do, particularly with a Chapter 13 filing. Uh, That is gone. Uh, That was one of the big provisions of the bankruptcy code that was changed in 2005. Doesn't touch them. Uh, And and it goes even a step further now. If you file bankruptcy uh, and try to get ahead of the divorce, uh, as some people will try to do, and then the divorce judge after your bankruptcy says, you got to pay your ex-spouse's credit card debts and attorney fees, et cetera. You're still on the hook for it. Uh, so you, know, you need to be very careful with those. You need to hire an attorney that has a working knowledge of both bankruptcy and divorce. So you know, oftentimes uh, marriages will break up as a result mm-hmm. uh, of the need to file bankruptcy. You know, money is one of, you know, <laughs> what is it? Money and infidelity, right? So uh, when, when you see uh, something like that come through the office, uh, a, a rookie attorney needs to to kick the case. Uh, I handle these kinds of cases all the time, uh, and they're they're tough ones. Bottom line, they're tough. And if you're in this position where you're either contemplating divorce and know you need to file bankruptcy, or in the middle of a divorce and need to file bankruptcy, uh, give me a call. There are still some options, uh, and <laughs> typically the best option is going to be to understand what these rules say uh, and to work uh, your bankruptcy and divorce at the same time. And, you know, if people are on credit cards together and things, I mean, it's a bank, it's a joint bankruptcy then, I guess, too, right? It, it typically is. If they are co-signers on the account, then they both have liability. It's called joint and several liability, meaning that either party is liable for the full amount of the debt. Uh, if, however, one spouse is just a co- or sorry, just an authorized user, uh, then there's no problem. One spouse can file a bankruptcy, uh, you know, obviously the signer on the account, wipe out the debt, and the authorized user is not liable. So that may be even a smart way for people to do things as they get married and open accounts. One of them be the applicant, and the other be an authorized user. 
It you certainly know. could be. I, I don't know uh, what kind of ethical hot water I could get in for <laughs> yeah. advising people to set up their finances that way. But right. if you've already done it that way, then kudos. You, you've probably protected yourself. Exactly. Ben's number again, 303-562-3167. His website, Yablon Law. That's Y-A-B-L-O-N law.com. Now, Ben, what about, you know, we already talked about retirement account, and I guess 401k kind of fits in that too. Is your 401k all protected? It, it sure is. So any retirement account that, that is considered ERISA qualified is exempt under the bankruptcy rules. I've had clients that actually owned real estate and gold with an ERISA qualified retirement account, and it was protected. They they did not lose that account. That's that's considered a self directed IRA. And those those are complicated, sort of convoluted and rare. Uh, the typical IRA or four hundred one k is just what you have set up at work, and you know it owns something from a a mutual fund, and uh, it's pretty clearly protected, uh, as long as you don't liquidate it prior to filing bankruptcy. See this all the time. People will cash out the account uh, and just have it sitting in the bank. Once that happens, it is no longer an exempt asset, and it's up for grabs. The bankruptcy trustee appointed to the case gets to seize and uh, you know liquidate the account and pay off some debt. You know, these one of the big things I think you've hear a lot too is the harassing phone calls which we mentioned earlier boy there are some places <laughs> that are cl- collection agencies that are brutal absolutely on the phone what do people have to take and then you can say hey you do not have to take this from you know <laughs> the abuse usually does not come from the original creditor so uh, under the fair debt collection practices act your original creditors are allowed to make reasonable inquiries into the status of the debt, whether or not you have an attorney. However, third-party debt collectors, the ones who are typically uh, nasty and deceitful, uh, are required to go through your lawyer. Once they're on notice, you've got counsel, they cannot communicate with you at all. So you don't even have to have filed bankruptcy. If you have hired a lawyer, typically by putting a little bit of money down and signing a fee agreement, uh, you then have counsel and you are entitled to refer your creditors to your lawyer uh, and protect yourself. And it takes you a, a couple of days, I'm sure, but that's something that your office then takes care of is notifying all the creditors, right? Exactly. So when the bankruptcy is filed, part of the filing fee uh, is actually going toward mailing out the required notice to all of the creditors. Uh, so as soon as those creditors have the notice and the case number, uh, a whole different set of rules kicks in. Uh, what's known as the automatic stay order is issued by the bankruptcy judge that has been appointed to oversee the case. Uh, and, and then we have a judge in place who we can take creditors in front of if they're willfully violating that judge's stay order. And that's exceedingly rare. It does happen, uh, but typically it's because these creditors are, are so big and clumsy that they haven't processed the bankruptcy notice yet. So they're, you know, their robo-dial system is still calling somebody uh, even after a, a case number's been issued. That's typically not grounds to actually sue them, uh, but occasionally there are grounds, and, and we'll have people that continue to try to collect or garnish bank accounts. Uh, I've seen that many times, uh, and that's absolutely prohibited. Now, what about wage garnishments? If someone out there is listening and they're fearful that maybe their wages are about to get garnished, is it better to get in contact with you before that garnishment hits? Absolutely. Okay. If you've If you've got a judgment that's been issued against you uh, or just a court date pending, uh, we need to move forward quickly. It's not necessarily a drop-dead emergency to file bankruptcy, uh, but it can be. If a garnishment has started, the only way we can stop it is to file the bankruptcy, uh, which involves preparing a bunch of paperwork, paying attorney fees, paying court costs, uh, and submitting a petition to the court. Uh, If it's an emergency to file and you file a case that's missing a lot of information, you've set up a very difficult situation uh, because we only have 10 days uh, to to add the rest of the details in that are required to be uh, part of the petition. So the best thing you can do is recognize the financial hardship uh, early. You know, if you're only making minimum payments, there's a problem. Don't wait until you're behind. If you're making minimum payments and you're contemplating making major financial decisions uh, to rectify that uh, that financial situation, stop cold. <laughs> Don't do anything yet. Talk to an attorney, uh, whether it's me, whether it's some other bankruptcy lawyer, I don't care. 
Uh, but, well, I do care. Call me, <laughs> 303-562-3167. Haystack listeners especially call me. You're, you're my favorite clients uh, typically because you're, you're informed and you're honest. Uh, but that said, if you're getting ready to make major financial decisions based on just something you've heard on the radio, something you read on the Internet, something your brother-in-law said, stop cold. You owe it to yourself to sit down with a lawyer and let them go through your finances with you and talk to you about what the upcoming life changes may be, et cetera. There are a lot of factors that weigh into what the best course is uh, before you actually embark. Now, range of debt. I think a lot of people think, well, they don't have enough debt to file bankruptcy. My understanding is there's no minimum, but what are some of the range of debt that you've actually filed sure. bankruptcy for? The typical client has about $30,000 in credit card debt, but then uh, you know the, the, the low end and the high end on that swing wildly. When you've had somebody with a, a business that's failed, they can be liable on, on millions of dollars in debt. Uh, you know, there's a, a prominent local talk show host uh, who had to file bankruptcy, and that person had millions of dollars in, in unsecured debt. So that's very rare. The typical client has between thirty and $50,000 in unsecured debt. Typically, about half of them will also have mortgages, but not necessarily. Uh, I have filed bankruptcies for people with uh, debt under $10,000 unsecured because what the bankruptcy code actually looks at is your ability to repay the debt you have. Mm -hmm. So it's not necessarily uh, a, a set amount of debt you need. It's whether or not you can actually pay it back in some reasonable amount of time. Our guest is Ben Yablon. Ben's located at 1444 Stewart Street in Denver, pretty close down by the um, sports Authority Field. I can't I want to say Mile High Stadium, but down that area of town. His number, 303-562-3167. 303-562-3167. Again, his website, Yablon Law. That's Y-A-B as in boy, L-O-N Law dot com. And, you know, you really don't have to wait till you're behind in payments to get to you. Because, you, like you said, if you're just making minimum payments on credit cards, the next thing is going to happen is you're going to miss a payment. I mean, because right. if you're struggling to do that and that's all you're doing, that I mean, it's pretty inevitable. Yeah, it probably yeah. means you're never eating a meal out. You're never going out to the movies. You know, you're not buying any magazines at the grocery store. You're using coupons. You know, you're, you're on a shoestring budget already. Uh, and, and if that's the case, then it's time to make some decisions. Uh, if there's some reason uh, to settle the debt, then we can talk about ways to do that. And, and, and that can be... Uh, a more expensive option than bankruptcy, but often uh, a better option on your credit. So, you know, I, I take those cases all the time. Uh, debt settlement, to be effective, involves coming up with lump sums of cash. If that's not an option, uh, and what you're contemplating is a debt consolidation plan, where those monthly minimum payments you're making are now just going to somebody else, that's the worst thing you can do. Th that has a 75% failure rate. You know, we, we talked about that a little earlier. 75% failure rate, uh, horrible. What it does is enrich some other company uh, and, and then create a situation where an emergency bankruptcy becomes necessary. And here's why. You have now put a third party between you and your creditors uh, who essentially receives all of the notices from your creditors, uh, and they don't necessarily pass them on to you. So you don't know that one of your creditors uh, has decided not to go along with the consolidation. And this is why these things fail. One creditor decides they're not playing ball anymore. They get a judgment against you. Mm -hmm. And the first you hear of it is when they're garnishing your wages. Guess what? It's an emergency to file bankruptcy now. Right. Now, repossession. If someone out there is listening and they're being threatened with a repossession, call you. Give me a call. Yeah. Uh, a Chapter 13 will stop it. We can cure what's been missed. You can keep the vehicle. In some cases, we can do a really interesting thing, uh, and, and it, it, it's a, a rare set of facts these days, but if the vehicle finance contract is more than 910 days old on the day you file bankruptcy, uh, then any unsecured portion of the vehicle finance contract can be wiped out in the bankruptcy. So hypothetically, the fair market value of your car will have dropped down uh, and, and you'll still owe quite a bit on it. You'll owe more than it's worth. That portion, uh, that, that unsecured amount, can be wiped out uh, if the finance contract is old enough. Our number is 303-477-5600. Ben Yablon's our guest. This is Haystack Help Radio. We're going to take a short break and be back with more right after this.
Early retirement, changing jobs. Hi, I'm Dot Mecklenburg, president of Dot Mecklenburg, Inc. Section 72T of the IRS Code says as long as you take substantially equal payments from your IRA for five years or until age 59 and a half, whichever is greater, you will not be penalized 10% for early withdrawal. For a free consultation, call me today at 303-647-1948 or visit me at my website, dotmecklenburg.com. Dot Mecklenburg Financial Services is an official company of Haystack Help and an A-plus member of the Better Business Bureau. Securities and advisory services offered through Genios Wealth Management, Inc., member FINRA, SIPC. What's the most common problem for golfers? It's the slice. If you want to get rid of your slice, you need No Slice. No Slice was tested by Golf Laboratories, a facility that conducts robotic testing for the golf industry, and the results were amazing. No Slice will eliminate your slice and increase your distance, guaranteed, or your money back. Simply apply No Slice to your golf club for longer, straighter shots and no more lost golf balls. Enjoy golf again. For more information or to purchase No Slice, go to No Slice golf.com that's no slice golf.com you strive for success every day take the time now before tragedy strikes and you can't protect your kids ensure they have the guidance they deserve i'm attorney bonnie and our passion is to make sure parents don't leave it up to a judge who doesn't know your family to decide who raises your children without a plan it could be a nightmare I checked out willsandwellness.com, a different kind of law firm. Personal family lawyer Bonnie Bowles helped me design a plan so my daughter would always be cared for by someone I want. Bonnie at willsandwellness.com made the process approachable and welcoming. Check it out, willsandwellness.com. Have you been involved in an auto accident, slip and fall, or any other personal injury? I'm Kevin Flesh with Flesh Law, and I've been protecting victims' rights for over 17 years. If you want aggressive representation that will get you the money you deserve, then call me at 303-884-1037 or visit my website at fleshlaw.com. That's Flesh, F-L-E-S-C-H. I will give you the personal service you deserve, starting with a free consultation. Call me, 303-884-1037, or visit me at fleshlaw.com. It's closeout time here at Lynn Lyle Chevrolet, and if you give us a chance, you won't be sorry. We have the guaranteed lowest prices, highest trading values, and the quickest and easiest buying experience ever. Go east and pay the least. Lynn Lyle Chevrolet, I-225 in East Colfax, or lynnlylechevy.com. This is Dave Ramsey, and this is your daily money makeover. December can be the hardest month to budget. It seems like we're always nickeled and dimed to death this time of year. But I'll help you anticipate some of those forgotten expenses next. Another late fee on our car payment? Shoot, we forgot to pay it. That's it. I'm calling SmartPaymentPlan.com. Who? SmartPaymentPlan.com. For as little as two bucks a payday, they'll make our car payments. In fact, they can make all our payments, even pay down our debt faster. Call 888-88-SMART now. Christmas is just a few weeks away, and gift giving isn't the only thing that can eat up your December budget. As you're planning for the upcoming month, remember to budget for all those things you can easily forget about until the last minute. Things like your work party, your spouse's work party, your kid's school party, the neighborhood party, a potluck dinner here and another there. What about travel expenses? Going out of state to visit family? Budget for gasoline to get you there? Don't forget about the stamps you'll need for your Christmas cards. And all that wrapping paper for your gifts. Your utility bills will go up this time of the year, whether you're hanging Christmas lights on the house or just using more fuel in the furnace. A lot of costs can sneak up on you in December and be the most expensive month in the year. But a little planning can make your money go a long way. Want to hear more from Dave Ramsey? Log on to DaveRamsey.com slash show. The Dave Ramsey Show. Noon to 3 p.m. on legendary KLZ 560, The Source. Welcome back to Haystack Help Radio. Our number 303-477-5600. 303-477-5600. Ben Yablon is our guest. Ben's a bankruptcy attorney here in town. Been with us ever since we started Haystack five years ago. Uh, we've known him for a number of years, even past that. And he's just done a great job for people and helping people. Give him a call, 303-562-3167. We've stressed it several times during the show. Just because you call, just because you walk up the stairs and go in his office doesn't mean you're filing bankruptcy. That means you're being smart. You're getting a consultation. It's absolutely free. Make a change this year. Now, you know, we follow Dave Ramsey's show, and Dave's been on this station a number of years and does a fabulous job and all, but a lot of people will call in the show and have paid off debt, and one I actually heard even today, or they, a couple after 
three or four years paid off 90 grand. And while that's great for them, I'm sure that couple had to go through a lot of things, Ben, for four years. It wasn't fun, you know, and that's yeah. a great feeling. But, I mean, man, you know, so maybe you want to go through that four-year or five-year period, and that's totally up to you and your personal decision. But you don't have to go through that. And that's right. The law is there to protect you, and we're not saying go out and be foolish and, and, and charge a bunch of things and then file. But we're not, we're not saying that either. But there is a light at the end of the tunnel. It doesn't have to be a four or five year killer deal on your relationship, your marriage and your life. So give Ben a call 303-562-3167. But Ben, some people have maybe crawled out of this hole. Sure. And so what's some advice that you can give someone now? Okay. They paid off their bills. They really don't own anything on credit cards anymore. What's advice for people like that? You know, people become very anti-credit uh, when they've survived something like this, either gone through a bankruptcy or or lived on ramen noodles for five years and, and paid everything back. Uh, going toward uh, complete uh, anti-credit isn't the right thing to do either because you still need a high credit score. Uh, m way more than, than just your uh, credit card interest rate is based on your credit score now. Uh, insurance premiums, uh, employment decisions, the list is endless uh, of what they actually, uh, of who looks at it and, and what kind of decisions are based on your credit score. So whether you're anti-credit or not, you do still need to take care of that credit score. So you need a good mix uh, of types of credit. You do, uh, you don't want to carry big balances forward, uh, but you do want to have those accounts in good standing. You want to have several of them and I cover all of this in detail in my free bankruptcy guide, uh, which is effective for people filing bankruptcy, uh, moving through a debt settlement plan, or uh, have paid off their debt on their own. Either way, uh, there's, there's a, a decade's worth of tips and tricks uh, as to uh, how to get your credit score back up in a hurry. Typically six months after the, the last negative item on a credit report has been dealt with, either through bankruptcy or settlement uh, or the ramen noodle uh, strategy, uh, you can be back up at an A credit score if you've taken the right steps. So give me a call. Uh, sit down for a free consultation. The bankruptcy guide is a free gift as well uh, to all Haystack callers. 303-562-3167. Co-signing for things is something people really need to take seriously because if someone does file bankruptcy, that co-signer is a 100% responsible, right? That's right. It's, it's joint and several liability. We were talking about that a little bit earlier. Uh, both parties are fully liable uh, on that debt. So if one of them files bankruptcy uh, and the other one does not, it doesn't mean that, that the, the, the non-bankruptcy filer is only liable on half of the debt. Not at all. They're, they're on the hook for the full amount. So be very wary of co-signing on a loan. If it's your spouse, you know, <laughs> fine. Be extra wary. <laughs> fine. It, it's typically your kid. It's typically somebody's kid right. or some other family member or friend that's uh, – uh, typically a mistake. And uh, you had a great strategy for this, and, and what you've always recommended is finance it, finance it yourself. Right. <laughs> Get the bank and loan and, and will pay say, off the car, and they pay you, you directly. Know, a lot of people That's say, fine. well, that doesn't build their credit. Well, you know what? Let them build it another way. Don't build it on a car or something where you're going to be responsible for 20, 30 grand. Right. You know what I mean? Unless you want the car. <laughs> and right. you have the ability to pay it off. Yeah, if you're yeah. going to set it up that way, then you need to open up a whole separate bank account that you're both signers on that you monitor to make sure the payment is being made mm -hmm. on time because your credit is, is at risk at that point as well. So be very leery of that. Do it the right way. Uh, either have them uh, make the payments directly to you and you pay it. You know, give yourself that, that extra, <laughs> extra task you have to do every single month or set up a different situation. Pay the car off and let them make payments to you on it. Now, Ben, what can people expect when they call your office? What do they expect in that first free consultation? Well, typically we're going to talk on the phone for a couple of minutes, and I'm going to answer uh, whatever their burning question is. And there's almost always something that you're losing sleep over that, that's just making you miserable that you want answered immediately. I can do that. You give me a call. We'll talk on the phone uh, and, and work through whether or not uh, an appointment is appropriate. If an appointment is appropriate, you'll come in. Uh, we'll sit down for the free consultation. You'll get a free copy of my bankruptcy guide, and we'll spend a, at least an hour uh, going through your finances in minute detail, going through the transfers and transactions that have uh, been a part of your life over the last couple of years uh, because they all impact uh, how my advice is going to play out. 
uh, and we'll make some sense out of what information you need to gather up for our next consultation. And in closing out today's show, taxes seem to come up a lot with sure. tax debt. So, and I know there's some guidelines or stipulations before those can be removed. So let's maybe touch on that just at sure. the end today. So taxes can be discharged in bankruptcy, uh, but the first test uh, that they have to meet is an age test. They have to be more than three years old uh, on the day you file bankruptcy. And in addition, they have to have been assessed 180 days prior to filing bankruptcy. And a final assessment on a tax just means there are no pending appeals. So you know, there, there's a somewhat complicated test there uh, to determine whether or not a, a tax debt can or cannot be wiped out. Uh, the first thing you need to know is it's got to be income tax. If it's payroll taxes, something like that, it, it's never going away. you you got a big problem, uh, and I've got some other people that we can talk to. So if you're buried in, in tax debt of, of all different kinds, I can still help. But from a bankruptcy perspective, the first thing you've got to know is that they need to be income taxes, and they need to be more than three years old. And everything has to be filed for that three years old. They can't be three years old. they got to be filed for three years, right? Exactly. So you also have to be in compliance with your tax filing obligation. Even if you owe money uh, for the past three years, that's okay. It, it, it's not getting wiped out uh, as long as you have, in fact, submitted all your tax returns prior to filing the bankruptcy. All right, Ben. Well, man, thank you so much. Again, Ben's number, 303-562-3167, 303-562-3167. He's located at 1444 Stewart Street in Denver. His website, yablonlaw.com. That's Y-A-B-L-O-N-Law.com. And tell us about the free book they get, just for Sure. Time. So the Bankruptcy Guide is a book that I published in 2012, uh, and it goes through in detail the different chapters of bankruptcy, uh, what the meeting of creditors is like, what the bankruptcy trustees expect from people, uh, how credit repair operates, etc. It's basically 10 years of uh, practicing exclusively in the bankruptcy law arena distilled uh, into a user-friendly guide, and it's, it's a free gift to anybody that comes in for a consultation. And one thing I can tell you from all the people that have come to Ben through Haystack and just knowing him personally, you're not going to walk in and feel judged. You know, I mean, this isn't a deal. Like, how could you have been so stupid? <laughs> you know, like your parents might tell you. But seriously, you know, things happen in today's economy with, with job loss and illness and just all the different things that are happening to us. You know, things just pile up before you know it. But there's help. And that's what we want to get across. There's help. Everybody's situation is different. So, you know, and as Ben clearly stated today,